Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to pass extra information as part of your header, whether it's a request header or a response header. There will be some scenarios where you want to pass some extra information from the gateway to the underlying microservice or the gateway to the client who is calling the HTTP uh, request, right? So you want to pass some uh, header in the response from the gateway to the client. Right, so for example, let's say, you, you know, like you are doing all kind of authentication authorization at a gateway layer and still your microservice requires some kind of information from the token. In that case, you can use this trick. So what we will be doing, your gateway is having that claim information. So you can pass that some extra information as part of the claim to the header and then it will underline you know, going to the microservice. And like claim can be like, let's say uh, some information what I'm talking like, let's say email ID that you, you, you want to pass as part of your, you know, header, header request, I would say. And sometime whatever you want to pass some extra information from the gateway to the client in the response header. So this, uh, all this stuff we will we'll be learning in this video. All right. So in for this video, I have four components. You can see the client as a postman and an identity server, which will provide the gate token and the gateway, which will, you know, and just do all kind of uh, this request response. I mean, like it will just do serve the request. All right. And then if the request uh, with the token is valid, then it will pass the request to the underlying microservice. So you can see, uh, let me open all the components. You can see this is our gateway and this identity server, which I have already created so many videos on the identity server. So you can check it out if you want to check how to create client, uh, this client configuration and all. All right, and this is your underlying microservice. It's a very simple service and it is having one endpoint. I mean, two, it's just like printing its services and another one is just to print all the header information. You can see I'm just returning all the headers whichever is the uh, which will be present in the that http call so i'm just printing all in a loop and then returning. so let's check the default scenario first so let me run first identity server okay now server is up and running let me run the underlying microservice it should say it's running So I started, you can see it's running. Now let me run the gateway as well. Okay, so gateway is also running. And here is our postman. So this is our gateway uh, endpoint, which I'll show you over here. On gateway also I have created a lot of videos, which you also have a look, if you want to see how to do all kind of configuration. So let me show you when in the gateway, I'm having only one endpoint, which is like gateway one and then URL, and then it's going to the internal microservice, which is hosted in the local machine. And the port number is 5001, which is over here. You can see this one. Okay. And the endpoint is having one more endpoint, which is nothing, one, which I was talking about it. Okay. So you saw that URL and internally, I will be using a code that uh, access token type. I'm mean like, uh, the grant type will be like say, authorization token so that configuration i have already filled it on this also i have created videos please check it out if you want to do all kind of configuration as part of the identity server so let me generate the token again let me clear all this stuff so it's gone and clear cookie so that i can you know generate a new token and in my identity server i'm you know doing the user validation from the db so I'm, i mean user information will be there in the db so i have i am having two users you can see user one and the user two let me use one of the user let me go to postman okay so there's the token which will be these two are gone let me take them okay so use this token now if i send this request you can see these are the uh, basic default headers i'm getting like accept this was the token cache content length host user management in the request has come from the postman that's why this is also coming as part of the header now this is like a basic information this is a request header and now i'll show you the what is coming as part of the uh, response header so these are the information is coming as part of the response header now in this video i will explain you how to add extra custom headers in the request as well as in the uh, response header. All right. So let me explain you this, how you will be doing. So you need to go to your gateway. 
I mean, in our case, the gateway is the oscillate gateway configuration. So you need to just go into the oscillate.json file. And let's say if you want to pass one extra information to the uh, from the uh, from gateway to the interline microservice. So what you need to simply say, you need to add this component over here, saying uh, I want to pass one extra. Uh, you know, this is the response. My bad. Let me copy the request one actually first. So so I'm saying uh, I want to pass one extra header saying the key header key name is request from and the value is gateway is a static value actually. So this is the value will be going as part of your request to the microservice. I'll put a debugger also so that you can have a check on that. Then we will print obviously. Okay, so this is done. Let me restart this. Okay, the gateway is running. If I try now request again, so it's coming. The gateway already injected the token in form, uh, sorry, the request uh, uh, extra custom header in the request body. So if I open this, you should see now one extra header coming called in the result view. If you see, yeah, you can see the, this extra information is coming. The key is request from and the value is gateway because that is what I have typed in the oscillate uh, configuration and it will print here as well which was not coming earlier okay now let's say you want to since I am authentic I am passing the token and token is having let's say some information like claim uh, email ID and other stuff also I want to pass that email also as part of the request header so for that what you can do in oscillate there is something called you have something called like let's say uh, add headers to the request there's a property just like how I added for the static values similarly again we need to go to gateway and then here you add something called add headers to the request and they are patterns I'll tell you if you want to put static values then you have to put as part of the upstream header transform so you pass the key and the value static value if you want to make it dynamic values so for example which will be coming from the claims actually so the least let's say tenant email and the custom claim name or it can be if you're creating a custom claim also in the gateway layer right so that also you can put it but all this is information should be coming from the claim only then only use this property otherwise for other static values you use the upstream header transform now I'll say, uh, now explain you how uh, what is this signature all about so if you want to extract any information from the claim so you say claims this is the same value every time you will be typing and the type and the key, key name so in my case the claim key name is email is one of the yeah, you know token I will just go to custom middleware I am just injecting one extra claim also so that before doing that I will explain you what all claims are coming as part of the token so one of the claim name is email and there is a like so this is signature you go inside the claim and uh, extract the value of email and then first I'll explain you this simple one and then you have to have this uh, it's like a, a greater sign and the value so this is the key and the value so what will happen in the end email key will have the value called email value okay now let's say you want to do a kind of uh, some operation on that value so email will be like uh, if you see our email is looks like user1 at the rate tenant1.com so what I am doing now get the value from this here then again greater and sign and this is basically to do a split so I am saying it is split by at the rate and take the uh, index 1 value so obviously index starts from 0 and 1 so if you split if I go back to the email again so this is the entire value and I am splitting by the at the rate so you got this is first value which, which is as an index 0 and this remaining is indexed 1 so if I go back to the configuration you say claims email get the value greater sign means again take the value then index will be applied on this uh, step, like you want to say again split by at the rate so you will get two values actually in the end 0 and 1 0 will be having the first part and this one will be having the uh, you know end part the suffix part so we are taking uh, take the only the uh, suffix part okay so it will take uh, whatever is there after the at the rate which is nothing but tenant1.com 
okay and this one last one is custom claim name so for example let's say you are getting a token over here whenever you are doing it's a middleware right so i have injected this middleware at the in the end I just follow the same pattern on how to inject the you know i have uh, like a custom middleware i have also created a video on this one so that is also you could check and like check if you want to understand more about the how to inject extra claim and that but this in this video i'm just waiting saying explaining it very high level now so what will happen whenever the user is validated authentic because i'm adding a pre-authorization middle layer that means user is already authenticated so that user will be having the token now what i'm saying enrich the token so in that if you go inside this method you see i am adding one new token called uh, new claim call actually i mean to say the claim key name is custom claim name and the value is custom claim value so that is also will be going as part of the uh, claim but this claim will be having in, in this gateway itself so what i'm doing after that i'm extracting that also the pattern is same again claim what is a key name greater sign and take the value similar like how i was explaining it in case of the email this is just to the split so again if you want to let's say your value is something let's say xyz colon one two three and you want to split the value by colon so you will be saying value zero or one whatever in value you are interested in greater sign here you will be putting colon so that it will split so i hope you uh, you you understood what i'm trying to explain all right now let me save this and rerun okay so now the gateway is running in i have added a breakpoint in the gateway also this time so when i execute this time you can see still there is no uh, any information with respect to the email and all okay let me send that request now so the request first leads to the gateway so from ui to the gateway and then if i show you user token you see here see email is there that is the key which i was talking about it and the, right now total is 17 now if i go inside this enrich method i have added one more now if you see you should see one extra which i added just now you can see custom claim name and custom claim value all right so the token i have added uh, sorry claim i have added into the existing uh, claim list if i release now now request came to the center line microservice and let's see the header now now you can see email these things also injected uh, it's custom claim name which i read uh, email is user one at the rate email uh, sorry uh, tenant one dot com and there was one more key which I added called tenant and there I was doing a split by at the rate so and then taking the index one property zero and one so index one is nothing but the tenant one dot com all right so these are also part of coming as a toke oh sorry header let me release this and now let's go back to the you can see now this is what we added as static value and these three we added as part of the dynamic value you can see custom claim name email and the tenant all right so this is all about the request header now let me see how i mean like i will explain you how to add the i am headers and the response also all right so for doing that there is a property called downstream header transform similarly like how we added for the uh, upstream so again i'll need to go to gateway this remove i'll remove this gate uh, debugger which we don't need now okay so that is called downstream header transform so you, again it works with this static value only so you'll have to type whenever whatever key you want to type and whatever the value you want to type so i'm saying response is coming from gateway let me restart this you can see right now there is no value coming like a response from if we go back there is nothing called response from now let it build it now we can see it's up and running okay let me trigger this button okay it came to this one i'll release this oh, now you can see one more extra property is coming called response from gateway
so i hope you understood what i'm trying to explain so far like how to add extra headers in the request as well as then the bar, uh, like a response a request header i mean to say and the response header all right that's pretty much about this video thank you very much